Hey Spider Riders, welcome to part two of our trailer storage video. In this part of the video, I will provide you with more detail on the construction of the rack. For this one, I'm going to use a slide or a PowerPoint approach, and that way you'll be able to easily pause and look at the photos. In part one, I briefly showed a photo of the high lift mower or ATV jack that I purchased from Harbor Freight. Using a coupon, I got this for way less than $100. If you go to the Harbor Freight store, be sure to look for model 60395 because this model has just one center lifting post. Other models are different, so be careful what you buy. Here's a clearer view of the actual tool as it is designed to uh, be used. This project will repurpose the ATV jack using about half of the parts. The important feature for me was that no welding is necessary. Only common home shop tools like a hacksaw, a power drill, a wrench, etc. are needed. The most important thing in this is the bottom support frame with its welded and drilled bracket and wheels. When you take the lift tool out of the box, you'll see that it comes partially assembled. Remove everything from the main bottom frame except the two wheels. With parts removed from the frame, turn it over and install two swivel casters. I took my two casters from an inexpensive Harbor Freight dolly that regularly goes on sale. Here's what I'm talking about. It's a Harbor Freight cheapie, less than 12 bucks. Now that you have the casters attached, you need to fabricate the larger diameter square tube from one of the two wheel brace supports. Here is another look at the two top lifting brackets. You'll only need one. Cut off both ends of the flange and try to keep the piece as long as possible. When you cut the bracket, cut it as near the top as possible. Check your trailer to make sure you have enough length. The main frame tube that runs from the front to the rear under your trailer should end at a 45 degree angle, several inches back from the lower or back part of your trailer. Match that angle with the cut that you'll need to make. Be sure that the pre-drilled holes will run from side to side in your finished product. On the flange that you are about to cut, it's important that you measure one more time to be sure that the length you are cutting will keep the trailer plastic or the bottom end uh, from touching the frame. On my trailer I needed a one foot length to go from the frame of the trailer down to the through the brackets on the floor roller uh, to be anchored in. When you determine the length just cut below the roller frame brackets that are welded on. Drill two new holes to secure the newly cut piece to the frame. It is probably not possible for you to reuse the existing holes. The jack lift kit includes a brown cross piece. This square tubing is just small enough to slide inside the bracket that you just fabricated. It is also small enough to fit inside the trailer's main front to back frame. This piece is long enough to go uh, up to the axle and is just wide enough that the trailer harness can fit alongside. In order for the new internal tube, the brown one, to lie flat inside the existing frame, it's necessary for you to relocate the white ground wire. I removed the bolt and drilled a new hole on the left side out of the way. The internal square tube needs to be secured to the trailer frame. I considered using sheet metal screws, but opted instead for four large pop rivets. The if the trailer runs over debris on the road, I want the bottom to be as smooth as possible. I also extended the new internal square tube out the back of the trailer a couple inches and put one of the included black caps on it. As a last important reminder, if you decided to lift and lower the trailer manually, it is critical that the wheels be secured with pins inserted through holes that are drilled through the wheel brackets and the wheels itself. As described earlier, the T-bar handle should also be used to provide more lifting and lowering control. Well, that's it, Spider Riders. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your project and safe riding.